and the extra layers of it by this incredible show that Kendrick did at the Pop Out show, it's changed his pop history. Well, this you know? is what I'll say in regards to that, we'll, and we'll close. Our first episode here, Jeremy, what was Elliot wearing? An OVO scorpion jacket. And what is he wearing right now, Jeremy? A Ken and Friends, the pop out shirt. Let me tell you something. This, last night was the first time. You don't have time. to tell me. Last, <laughs> last, night, <laughs> last <laughs> night was the first time. Like, like <laughs> shout my man, Frazier from <laughs> Shout out to Frazier. I took so many photos with fans. In the West. I, this is the most love I ever got in the West Coast. <laughs> One night. I took so many photos. Everyone was excited to see wine in the building. Like, that's the most, hey, that's the most love I've ever felt. From the West Coast in one night. There's no going back. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a part of the West now. Hey, I'm not ready to hey. renounce yet. I'm West Coast Wilson, but I'm not ready to renounce the East. I'm, I just want to say, let me back into Canada. I do have to go there in July. I know that I'm. What are y'all uh, copping, please, for, bro? What the? F- I want to get back that? into the country. My family's there. I I love Canada still, but we we got to wrap. No, need, no, one last thing. <laughs> Kendrick said, "Do you have break down with how you feel?" Uh, the actual set, DJ Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar set. He's sur- he's a surgeon, and right. I think he set the tone with the first record. And wearing I- the pocket inspired outfit. What's going on with that? And changing the lyrics wants? too. He he told Drake, "Give the ring back, and I'll show you some some God respect." God is extremely surgical, and I've never seen anybody execute like him. They in- say he did not drink any water. What is this level of conditioning he has? I've never seen anybody execute in real time like Kendrick Lamar Duckworth. I've never seen anybody as surgical and as as tactical as Kendrick Lamar Duckworth in the way that he approaches things. So when it comes to those think pieces on YouTube about, oh, like this means that and this is that and it ain't that deep. Like he's not doing that. But when it comes to the way he presents to the world, that's always intentional every time, in my opinion. West Coast. Daddy Rose to the moment. West Coast. We may not know. (laughs) <laughs> on this dark road. Tell them. Yeah, it's Elliot Wilson, man. The bigger picture. This feels like a very special episode. Jeremy Hecht here. Who do we have? <laughs> One of the friends. Yeah. Hi, no, friend. No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm an affiliate, yeah. remember? Woo. We're friends. Hey, did anything go on last night? I don't yeah. know. I was in bed. What happened? Uh, there was rumors that this big concert happened, that there might have been some involvement. You see my t-shirt? Oh, yeah. Shout out to Elliot Wilson. He blessed me with this T-shirt because I was preoccupied and I couldn't get... You got other things I on that stage, man. I did you get head and friends? What happened, man? I couldn't get my own merch. Did, you, did, did your little brother make the event? Did you let him my in? My little brother was sitting next to Jeremy. I did. Oh, I, so you I, let him in. I, so you faked us out the whole time about everything. Well, no. What, I, what happened was Elliot Wilson was able to give me some tickets. and I No, gave, that's the lie. That's I the gave lie. it... <laughs> I got, you know what's crazy? I ran into somebody... First person I see, no joke, first person I see, uh, they run into me, they go, I knew Head would let you in the building. I knew he was just messing with you. And then, and then he goes, I love what you guys are doing with the bigger picture. We got fans out here. I know. Yeah. Shout out to uh, everybody that's been checking out the show. I've been hearing a lot of good feedback about this little thing. We got our little struggle show, as Elliot was saying. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're struggling. Yeah, we there. left this situation. We had a conversation about me and Jeremy were begging for tickets <laughs> last episode, <laughs> trying to get in. I want to say for the record, I bought my ticket. I spent like a G on whatever Damn, Elliot? Resale. investment. It's culture. And that's the thing. Can I do a quick sidebar? Yes. I have no respect for people who don't feel they needed to be in the building. They talk all this mess. Like, I'm, I am got to pull up. New York people are like, I got to pull up. Yes, history. Blah, blah. It's just like, you don't want to be part of the culture? Like, I get the, the stream, and God bless the stream. And a shout out Timothy Henshaw, shout formerly Tim. Amazon Music. New companies, Free Lunch. Free, free Lunch. Free Lunch. Free Lunch. Agency. Shout out to him. So it's great that the world got to see it on stream, but you don't want to be in the building? This is hip hop. Once in a it's, lifetime. That's just being a journalist. Like, that's documenting the culture. It's like, you're not going to get on a plane and fly to California? Shout out to B Dot. He flew in. Um, the girl Taylor, who works with Charlemagne the God, yeah, producer. Shout out to Taylor made it. Taylor, made, Taylor it. made it. Taylor made it for real. Yeah. Um, I don't know who else from the East pulled up, but like, just in general, it's like, you're not going to be in the building. I'm part of history. It's like, and it lived up to the hype beyond. Like, it's definitely one of the greatest nights in hip-hop I've ever been a part of. Um, you actually, I saw you with Dave Free. You posted that picture. Oh, that's picture. at the end. Okay, so, so look at the highs and lows. I had to pay my way to even get in the building. And then by the end, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just rolling with... Well, I see Anthony Soleil. I hug him. And all of a sudden, the show ends and everybody's going that way. And I go just sneak backstage. I look, look, walk with purpose. So I get to the backstage area and then... um. 
I'm just kind of trying to say low, and I start walking behind Tim, and then it was like, um, I guess we were going towards Kendrick's dressing room, and it was like, no, 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 you got family, 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 family. So then I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool. So I was like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be anybody's business, personal business, whatever. So I pull back, and then I go in another room. I come back around, and I didn't see Dave at first. I saw a group of people talking, and then Dave was over there, and Dave was like, Ellie is up here. Da, 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 da. So I came over and started talking to them. Shout out to my man, Armin. I can't do his last name, but he's an incredible photographer. Amazing photographer. Armin, right? Yeah. He captured the night amazingly. So, yeah, he, got, he caught that candid of uh, me and Dave fooling around. Uh, Pause. Conversation Pause. backstage. Pause. He wasn't fooling around. <laughs> Not fooling around like that. You know, talking about life and the culture. Yeah, you guys have any, any, any <laughs> conversations in particular that, that were about the music? That's off the record. You okay, know what, what, what I will say, though, we do have to know. <laughs> we do have to know that this dispelled a lot of conspiracies Look, I, for me. So, I got my little geeked up, like, fake Chuck Taylors I have. just like a fashion. Yeah, what are those? It. I don't even know. Somebody My wife got me these. My wife styles me, so I don't even know oh, what that, these that, are. But that I, makes sense. Yes. So somebody said our. What does that mean, DJ Head? Well, I'm. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. No, but hold and on. And then Dave guys are real. So like, why do we have like matching sneakers and shit? Like we're brothers. No, 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 no. Okay. Dim ain't those. The original Chuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you got on ain't those. I'm trying I, to be I, West Coast Wilson. Why can't you embrace it, my West brother? West Coast Wilson. You got I like the Chucks that. on. And Jeremy, do you know the new theory from all the OVO stands? Uh, well, I don't know if it's the same one. The one that I was going to say is they thought that Dave Free was nowhere to be seen. They thought that Whitney was nowhere to be seen. But you posted this picture because they're, they're all like, oh, maybe the, what Drake said on Family Matters is true. So when I saw this picture, I was like, you got to send that picture. Proof that Dave Free had his own dressing room. Dave Free was in the building. Shout out Dave Free. Shout out Anthony Soleil. PG Lang was in the building. They was holding it down. But I'm saying the new theory for people that don't know is that we ended on the rat emoji last time, yeah. but the real problem why Drake's mad at me and I have a fallout with Drake yeah. is because I connected with this brother who opened up the show, what? DJ Head and Friends. How you going to just dump a The whole Coast Guard of the, the West Coast. Coast. Guard, yeah. To do a show with the Coast Guard of the West Coast at a time like this when Jake and Kendrick in a battle was, was, was a diss to Drake. And that's, that's the real what? reason why me and Drake had problems because I decided to get in business you with you. Wait, 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 wait. DJ Head. Hold on. Fuck all that. Time out. You're saying that your issue with him is because of me? No, I'm saying the OVO stands new theory. Drake's issue with, with Elliot is because of you. That's cap. <laughs> There's no... First of all, that man probably don't know who I am. Second of all... That's, fat. that's cap, too. That's cap. That's cap. Second of all... You opened the show of the concert. Can we get to this? <laughs> it was DJ Head Somebody and Friends. Can we pull up <laughs> DJ Head and Friends? Mustard and Friends? <laughs> Kenny Friends? Like, that was... How um, do you... First of all, can we go back to that? Let's go back to that. How, How you out here happen? talking about it, and now you're on the bill? <laughs> Let alone you're going to pull up as a guest. You're on the bill. When did you find out? When did you officially find you're out look at this guy. something? Effective <laughs> immediately. Effective immediately, I need some answers. <laughs> I need some answers. Effective immediately. Please. Oh, man. What do you want to know? What's the question? From the time we sat here talking about the show, <laughs> did you know when did you get really added like, to the I show? questions. DJ about had in friends, 4 p.m. <laughs> He started the show. I'm, not, I'm trying not to yell like a podcast. I'm not gonna yell. Podcasters yell. I'm not going to yell. Well, you need a beanie. I'm going to be honest. I would, I would, my most exciting was it the day before or the day of the show that was announced that this was the lineup? Day before? Yeah, the, day before, I think. Was day before? They yes. announced it? Okay, so imagine us, Jeremy, me and you. Let's talk, me and you talk as friends. Two thirds of the bigger picture. Yeah. You brilliantly ask him. And broach the subject of, hey, can we have a team, you know, can we all pull up and have a good time as friends, <laughs> colleagues? He dodges us. He disses his little brother. He sacrifices his little brother to dismiss us. Do you think we could take a nice little retreat to the Ken and Friends you mean we like show? Us? Yeah, us three. We could go together. Okay. So I, I'm glad you brought this Jeremy's up. Jeremy's like, how can I get in? <laughs> I'm just saying, for, for the squad, you know. Let me answer this. Because I provided some visual aid and i would like to share this with the world um for everybody reaching out to me this is a text message from my brother he says yo bro are you going to pay that concert <laughs> are you on going? june team here's, the, said, he, here's where he started let me, wrong let me no, read it. my bad yes yo bro wrong. are you going to k-dot's concert on juneteenth i said yes he said can we go <laughs> what did i say elliot no okay and then and, he, no. and then i said i mean then he says laughing my ass off worth the shot have fun what i say elliot west coast okay so <laughs> There is no one on this stage, in this building, or in my phone that I love more than my little brother. 
And that's that's my that's my text with him. So I want to take this as a general statement <laughs> for life and everybody that I love. There's nobody in my phone, on my social media, or in this building I love more than my little brother. And he can't go. So you know where you stand. That's just where I don't have no juice. Yeah. I don't have no pool. I can't do nothing for you. West Coast. But you're good. You'll be in the building. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and then the day before the show... <laughs> It's announced that not only is DJ Head going to be in the house, he's, he's part the of the set list that he's setting off the whole event. He's literally the opening act of one of hip hop's most historic nights. You got DJ Head and Friends at 4 p.m., then Mustard and Friends at 4.45, and then Ken, calling him Ken is still nuts. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar and Friends at 5.45. How does this happen, DJ Head? How does it happen? So, when, when does it happen? How does it happen? When did you get the call? What's the perspective? Uh, ironically, me and Jeremy went to go eat. Um, I witnessed this and didn't know. Y'all having secret there. dinners around me too? What's, <laughs> going, what's wrong with the team, man? Well, 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 well. I'm yelling like a podcast this episode. I'm yelling like a we, podcast we, this episode. We happen to be at the studio where we're so at look, right now. So look. We went, we walked West Coast to go Wilson is upset. No, I'm look, upset. I didn't even this know this was going to be This here. is a private conspiracy <laughs> that Jeremy has concocted to get you out the paint. So I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Coincidental lunch. So look, we we just I'm I'm a fat ass. I like to eat. That's what they call me online. I'm fat, so I like to eat food. So crazy liver. I went, <laughs> huh? They said fatty liver. Yeah, I got yeah, uh, fat neck, all that kind of shit, right? But anyway, so I like to eat. So we go we go grab lunch after we lunch time. Uh, okay, lunch time action. I can forgive that. For the lunch. dinner, I'd be mad. For dinner, I'd be what the fuck? It's not a date. We, we I'm literally hungry. And we went to go eat food after we after we went, uh, filmed the show. Oh, y'all left after the set? I no, don't this was before. another day. This was a oh no, it wasn't even day. it wasn't even it after was the show. I happened to be in oh. in the area yeah. and doing some other okay. business. Okay. Anyway, we grab lunch. I get a phone call, and Jeremy's just because <laughs> I'm like on the phone and I'm just like uh huh. Affirmative. That, I could do that. Yep. And that, the show had been announced. That that's crazy. Wow. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm just. I'm trying to be, you know, stone face with it. You and Jeremy and Jeremy's looking at me like I'm about to ask him to go to Sadie Hawkins. <laughs> like he's, <laughs> like, I was excited and, to know yeah, what the call was about. And he's like, and he's like, yo, so like, was that about the show? Yes, it was about the show, Jeremy. Oh, so you had the tip? So and, not no, Jeremy can you no, let no, me no, 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 no. Can you let, let, let me finish? I didn't. You gotta let me let Ellie. <laughs> There's no conspiracy here. I did not yeah, know anything. Why good. am I the an angry podcast? Yeah. Episode? <laughs> I, I, gotta, I, I gotta stop. I gotta calm down. <laughs> I'm excited. So, okay. So I'm like, yes. That was about, he was like, like the light? I'm like, yes. He's like, I'm not, I can't, I can't say anything. What was this, Jeremy? This know. was last week. Okay. This is, this is where, after we did our tape, after we did our tape, how many days after our tape? Maybe. <laughs> Two days after. <laughs> I'm a reporter. You see no, my so journalist shit? So I'm a journalist, I need man. details, goddammit. So it. this from my perspective. So I was <laughs> I was in the office. I happened to be getting some hard drives for more footage, okay? <laughs> Head walks in. I was like, oh, shoot. He's like, I'm here for another meeting. We were waiting on some people, and we're like, oh, let's go grab lunch, okay? So I witnessed this phone call, and I say, <clears throat> kind of like we did on the show. I was like, okay, can I guess who's on the lineup? And you, you don't have to tell me yes or no. You can just react, okay? So... This is where he duped me the most. I said, I think I went like, are we, are we talking like a 50 Eminem type? He said, think of, this is all he said. He said, think about who I am. Okay. So I go, all right, West Coast. And I think, okay, West Coast, who's at the top of the West Coast? And I say, Dre. And this is what DJ Head says to me. <laughs> he says, Jeremy, when's the last time you've seen Dre and Kendrick in the same building together? <laughs> When have they been on stage together? That was like 10 years ago. You think that's happening again? And I go, oh, all right. So this is me telling people, walking around telling people, ah, I hear there's going to be a special guest, but I know it's not Dr. Dre. <laughs> <laughs> that's my insider you let, information. You let my, you let my GIM? I'm walking around. Crazy? Like, I, literally, she was sitting next to me. I said, you know what? And, and, and you know, obviously she works with you, so I, I named dropped you. Besides, I wouldn't. But I was like, you know, Head said, Dre isn't going to be here. I didn't say that. <laughs> that's not what i said so what was what was that call was the call that... the call was just well the first call was about the lineup the second call was we want you 
to open the show. Woo! Wow. Can um, we clap it up for DJ Head? Come on, my calls. A part of history. I lost my Drake friendship for this. <laughs> and what was your yeah, well, you got a picture with Free. But um, <laughs> How did you I'll take it. I'll take it. When you got that call. I um, didn't really, I'm still processing, honestly. I haven't, it was to me, so to be, to be transparently honest, when I got the call, it wasn't like excited. It wasn't like, like, oh my God, this is life changing. It wasn't even like, oh my God, I'm gonna be a part of this moment. It was like, how do I execute this? Hmm. And how do you I- You went right into work mode. Immediately. To earn the moment. You like, you got the moment, but you wanted to make sure you earn the it moment. It has to be right because yeah. Dot, so the, the thing is, Dot and Dave and Ant, these are my homies. You know what I mean? I know Ant longer than I known Dave and Dot. You know, me and Ant used to pass out flyers in front of the club. Like we we were promoters. Like we used to pass literally hand I know kids don't know what those are. They were like printed flyers. We used to pass them out. It wasn't digital. You saw what, Anthony Soleil? Yeah. Wow. Dope. Is that my my girl's brother said uh he saw you was so fly, DJing at so fly parties. So fly parties, yeah, yep. Yeah. That used to be a thing. And so we come from back in the day. Like me and Ant go back to like two thousand four. 2005 wow. like these are my real homies you know what I mean yeah and so I think that's kind of like why <clears throat> all of the back and forth it's like who is DJ head uh no like Ma was like he didn't they don't even he probably <laughs> even know these niggas it's like I mean yeah pop out on them real quick give give people your history like how did what led up to the relationship with well Kendrick like I said family? me and aunt go back to club promotion days I met dot I met Dave doing TDE with my big homie G Malone and Top. Like G Malone and Glasses Malone and Top are like homies. Shout out Glasses Malone. Shout out to my big bro. G Malone and Top Dog are like homies, like from the street. They both from Watts. They 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 neighborhoods are around the corner from each other, down the street, around the corner down the street. You know, they're not that far. Watts is a small environment. And so we used to go over there all the time and, and work with them. Like if you go listen to Ab Souls, I think his second album, Long Term 2, I'm on the album. That was from 2010. You know what I mean? Like, these are my real <laughs> homies, for real. It's a song called Song Cry, where he was like, yo, head, I'm checking you out on the DJ shit. I had just started DJing when I started doing, when I started hosting stuff for them, like doing stuff with them. Ali was in there working with a broken mic, too fucked up. But I mean, it's just like, our history is different. And so I think that's why we're not boisterous. Like, that's not why, but I'm saying a different line of consciousness I'm having right now is, we're just not boisterous people. I don't go around and be like, yo, I got, uh, you know, I just talked to Kendrick yesterday. Like, that's just not how, <laughs> that's not how we get down. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even wear jewelry. You know what I mean? We're not, where we from, on my side of town, you're never going to get that flamboyant. You don't see Top Dog even flamboyant. Top Dog, more money than everybody. Yeah. You don't even you, see Top Dog. You don't even, in Top, wear a hoodie and a, and a hat. Like, he don't, yeah. you know what I mean? So you don't see that. J-Rock, J-Rock got a Grammy. You know what I mean? 100%. Like, he's a Grammy and a key to the city. You know what I mean? Schoolboy Q is rich in real life. Sorry, Q. But like, <laughs> I'm just saying that- Golf say, game is crazy. Yeah, I'm just saying that to say like, these these are like, we just don't flaunt- You're taught our, to not carry yourself that we, way We don't either, carry right? ourselves yeah. in that way because in LA, when you carry yourself a certain way, you either breed jealousy and envy or you a lick or, vi or whatever come with that, right? Long story short, um, I met them like 2004, 2005. 2005, 2006 ish, because TDE was established in 20, 2004. Actually, this year is the 20, yeah. 20th anniversary Shout of, out to of, that. of TDE, Salute. and there's something special coming for that. Um, oh man, work! Yeah, 20 to the 20 year anniversary of TDE. There's something coming really, really big and really special for the yeah. 20 year anniversary of TDE. And shout out to the new generation. I saw Rayvon backstage. Hey, I had Rayvon, Rayvon on my set, but shout Rayvon. I'm just saying all that to say, like, our lineage just runs deep. We're not, this not no industry shit like yes. Elliot and Drake. You know what I mean? This is <laughs> so that's why I ended because of my friendship with you. That's no, what I'm happened. just saying, like, these are my real, yeah, this is real. friends. Mm -hmm. Like, we was broke together. You know what I mean? Like, I, I remember one time we came home. I don't know if I said share this, whatever. We came home from, from the road. We went on the road, and Dot had this old busted ass Blackberry. It was terrible. It was, it was a joke. The track ball was missing or whatever. <laughs> and um, we came home from the road and one of the homies called me. He was like, yo, I want to do this show. You know, can you give me J-Rock? I'm like, you can't get J-Rock because I know you ain't got no money. Yeah. He's like, well, what about, you know, the, the dude he be with? I'm Young like, boy. He's like, K-Dot. I'm like, I can get K-Dot. Like, what you what you got? He's like, I ain't got no budget. I'm like, you got to be something. He said, I, I, I can give him 500 
Five hundred dollars. Five hundred. Look at this. So this is literally in two thousand ten. This is twenty ten. Wow. So we had just came home from the road. We was eating sandwiches and noodles on the bu- on on the road. Uh, it was an independent grind tour. Shout out to Tech Nine. Uh, we came home. You oh, open, forget about the opening for Tech Nine. Yeah, tour, we yeah. went on tour with him. Yeah. Um, and so we did that too. And as soon as we came home, I was I called him. I was like, Yo, Dot. He's like, What? Well, I was like, uh, I said the homie wants you to come do a show for him. Uh, he got five hundred. I was like, Hell yeah, let's do it. I need that. I need that right now, mm-hmm. like in a real way. And so I think it's like we have those connections, whereas yeah. I think that people don't understand the lineage. So that, how do you even process that when you see him literally like? Oh, we cert- talk about it. We talk yeah. about it. Like I asked him about it. Like we had. I went. We I went. I went and talked to him before he went on stage. Mm. Um, and we talk about that often as far as like whenever he's when he where he's doing shows and doing stuff i'd be like bro do you even he say every time i go out there it's it's like what the fuck like this shit is crazy like he has that reaction as as poised as he is and as like cerebral and cerebral and he's a tactician there's still that part of him it's still like yeah he still be looking like this shit is crazy he had a couple of those moments it almost felt like on stage where he he said i'm getting emotional yeah He's he don't lie. You know what I mean? He's dead yeah, ass. He's yeah. like, bro, I'm getting emotional because this. You got to understand what this means to him. The last time there was a there was a moment like that was when Snoop gave him the torch yeah. and he yeah. cried on yeah. stage yeah. Yeah. and everybody was there. You know what I mean? That yeah. was another moment. So it's like when you have these significant moments. A couple of the homies, I'm not gonna put their business that, but a couple of the homies cried. Yeah, you know what well, I mean? Backstage, yeah. at home, like we're getting those calls and like I saw tears in Ray Vaughn's eyes. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I like I saw that. Um, you know the homie Zo Osama. Yeah. Like he actually got emotional. Like like what me and YG shared some a moment. Like it was it's the moment. And I think it's just like for us being from this environment and being able to pull off something like that. Like I was gonna say, hey, from your perspective, you feel like you knew they were trying to execute that, but then to actually do it, how did you process that? I went right into work mode. That's why I said I still not being able to relish in it. Like my phone is in shambles. I can't. can't. (laughs) Did you had to say he hasn't even slept yet? I I went to I slept a couple hours, um, but I just couldn't because it was just a lot going on. But um, look at this, my guy. Look at my boy. Look at the dog. Hey, come on. Setting the show off. Come on. Did you get nervous? Did you get nervous? No, I don't get nervous. I just like I said, it's just execution. You got to think. So for me, I'll be honest with you. For me specifically. A lot of people on my set are from environments that don't necessarily collaborate with other environments. Yeah. And so these people from this section, these people, so being have, so, and it was on me to really curate that environment. Mm-hmm. And even at rehearsal, like there, I'm, I'm um, PG Lang was filming most of everything. So they, they'll probably put out what they want, but I make sure to, you know, I made sure to gather everybody up. It was a yeah. huge, it was everybody from all these sections, huge huddle of all the home. We don't have, I don't have no pictures, no, they, they, they took our phones, like we couldn't, cause it was that, that classified, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, which is why I was hella vague with you, but uh, <laughs> I just told everybody, once I had them all in one space, I'm like, I don't need y'all to, you know, to get along. I don't need you to be homies. I mean, be friends. I just need, Dot has specifically chosen this the, this group of people to be. Here. Oh, that's dope. So you're saying everybody was approved ultimately by everybody that was on the show was directly approved by PG Lang. And did you put it together and, and then presented it to them? Or no, how cool was the curation? They brought me a cure. They brought me the group of people that they wanted on their show. Gotcha. And they were like, "Here's the group of people we want on our show. Curate this to where it, it sounds good, it looks good, it feels good, it makes sense." Oh, so you picked out the cadence a, of who comes out from a DJ person? perspective, gotcha. correct? So yeah. my job was to. That's why I said I went right into work mode. It was like I have to make this flawless, and mm-hmm. I have to make it because I know what this means. I know what this what this is look gonna be. You know yeah, what I mean? 100%. So um, there were a couple of like like. Uh, I guess you can call them like audibles at the line of scrimmage that we had to make as far as time and adjustments and stuff like that. Like, you know, G Perico is his own artist. Kalen For Real For Real is his own artist. They have a song together that's one of the biggest songs in LA over the last, so they did a song together, it makes sense. Rucci and AZ Chike, it makes sense for them to do the song together because mm. they are, they are, that Light It Up record is huge mm. in, from, from an LA cultural perspective. And everybody didn't, nobody like, it was no egos, it was like, 
let's do this. Let's do this for the city. And I just appreciate everybody on my set for just rocking with me and trusting me and allowing me. I had a couple of moments with a couple of artists where they weren't ready, you know, for the, mm. for the opportunity. And it's like, bro, I need you to yeah. get your shit together. Like, this is the moment. This don't. So we've I, I dedicate that time because I know what that means. And I didn't we didn't as when we were coming up, I never really had that. Nobody really pulled us aside and was like, hey, this is how you properly speak into a mic. This yeah. is how you properly, yeah. you know, et cetera. So I try to be what I needed. Y'all yeah, saying there's one brother, uh, my guy, Brian from uh, DJ Booth. It's yeah. Brian Z. He took the tweet down because he caught backlash where he was like, he felt maybe some of the artists aren't really taking advantage of this moment, right? They're not, be, not stage ready or not as like ready to, you know, and it happens with new artists. Like they never had to look like this. So I don't know if that's that. No. Yeah, that's but, talking about deleting the tweet. Yeah, yeah, he deleted the tweet. But yeah, you think about the idea, because again, I'm, I'm, I'm snapping on people that wasn't in the building because I'm being like, you know, hardcore with that. But so many people watched it on the stream. Beautiful stream. Shout out to Amazon Music. And it's like you think about head, like what does that mean for these artists to have this type of look at this level of their career? It's everything to them. Like I said, yeah. a lot of the homies was emotional. Like yeah. I'm still get like it's it's different when you get an artist like jason martin problem or you get yeah. somebody who's a seasoned vet like rj rj stage rj on stage is probably some it's it's it's, it's ballet it's beautiful yep. like and when up. you go see an rj show it's beautiful you know what i mean yeah um but a lot of the homies like they understood the assignment it's yeah. like this is not and i made it clear with when i was talking to people it was like this ain't about you this ain't about me it's my name is on the thing there's three names on the marquee it's still not about me. Talk that talk, head. Come not on. like that. No, I'm saying it's still <laughs> yeah. not about me. It's no, about it's about us. It's about you being in service to the situation. I'm in yeah. service. I'm, yeah. I went right into work mode. Yeah. And so. It's almost a challenge to everything that you say because you advocate the West Coast so much. It's almost like a challenge for you. This is going to be the mo one of the most important nights in West Coast hip hop history. You got to set the table and make that shit right. And we're starting it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think for me, I feel like. If it was up to me, I'd have everybody on there. Like, you know what I mean? But obviously, it's not that time constraints. It's no way. Mm -hmm. There were hella people that weren't there, and people like some people were there in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was just like, and they, <laughs> and they just understood, like, yo, this ain't about me. This is the moment for it's everybody. Bigger, yeah. It's bigger than me, and I appreciate everybody who feels like that because you can't. It's no way in hell you can have everybody from a, a region or a section on one on one stage. Yeah. It's just not possible logistically. Now. You might want to swap people, and, you, and that that all just gets. That's all just depends on yeah. whoever curates the curates the lineup. That's neither here nor there. Even when I'm not included in certain things, shout out, not shout out, not shout out, but to mention the Global Spin Awards, I was never included in none of that shit. Mm. Never, I was never nominated. None of that, and I've been doing the same thing that everybody else has been doing. I don't take it as an opportunity to make it about me though, because mm -hmm. it's bigger than me. They're showing recognition to DJs. I'm a DJ. I appreciate that. I'm from the West. I'm from Los Angeles. We're showing love to Los Angeles. We're showing love to the West. I appreciate that whether I'm at the house or I'm in the arena. Yeah. And I, I just expect the same energy. Well, to, to that point, I think people watching from the outside, I think you can provide good perspective on this uniquely. What this meant to L.A. in terms of unity, not only all the artists who were from L.A. who had that opportunity, but at the end, when Kendrick said, this is unlike anything that's ever been done. There's people from every section, gangs that do not get along, are all on stage, unified for the city. What, what does that mean to LA and how impactful is that moment? Is this like anything we've ever seen before? You've, we've seen it one time before. Um, like Obviously, there's been peace treaties and stuff that goes on behind the scenes. But to keep it real with you, LA gang politics is not necessarily for mainstream media. And it's not for the world to understand. It's just... It's really our thing. And it, I mean, I'm not a gang member, but I'm from the same environments that everybody else is from. And so not to speak for them, but I understand that the texture and, and the sentiment is if you don't understand it, we don't give a fuck. It's yeah. not for you to understand. And so I think like when you have a moment like that, it's really for like Dot's, in, Dot's intention going into it, which I can't speak on, was he wanted to show the world that we can do this too. Mm. It's not just like, oh, you know, these people on this side or that people on this. Like, mm -hmm. no, we can do this, too. It's not always fights and, 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 and you know, gunplay and animosity and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It, that, that, it's that, too. 
It's that too it, out it here. It can go there. It's that too. <laughs> but it didn't. But it's not. Th- that's not what yeah. we own yeah. right now. And that was the intention and sentiment going into it. That was a direct order from them. This yeah. is not an anti anyone concert. This yeah. is a pro us concert. And that's something that I always say. You can go back on my Twitter 10 years. I'm not anti anybody. I'm pro us. Mm-hmm. And can you explain that people don't know the significance of Tommy the Clown? Tommy the Clown is a legend from L.A., bro. He had a movie come out called Rise when we was like all in school. Shout out to Larry the Clown, too. I don't want to dismiss his invo- his his impact in, in, in the streets either. But um, Tommy the Clown, is he used to do these things at, at the forum, which we mm-hmm. were there last night. Yeah, He used to do these events called Battle Zone. And it was all ages. And, it, and I'm sure you guys have seen um, <clears throat> crump dancing, clown yeah, dancing, stuff like that. I'm sure you guys have seen that. That's what this is. And that's just, that's real LA shit. You know what I mean? And I think, <laughs> to keep it real with you, that's what I was trying to explain to y'all when we first started this show. <laughs> you can't fuck with culture. Tommy the Clown is LA culture. You know what I mean? It's yeah. dance, it's the music, it's the tempo, it's the vibration, it's expression. Crump dancing, clown dancing. So is there, is there a disconnect? Because Maul even tweeted, like, from Joe Budden, not formerly Joe Budden, Maul, Rory and Maul. He said, Tommy the Clown got more time than Tyler the Creator. Like, why do you think that's important for Tommy the Clown to get more time maybe than that's Tyler? That's not for him to understand. Tyler. He wouldn't understand because yeah. he's not, he not of it. Yeah. It's not for him to understand. But, Tyler, that's, the, but, that's, Tyler, but that's Tyler the Creator came out on a set that was but that Muster was doing. Yes, indeed. Beautiful he did, moment. He did, he did his set. I mean, he did his, his guest appearance. Yeah. Tommy the Clown had his own set. Yeah. But why is part, that important? Because it was a part of my set. That's yeah. important because Tommy the Clown has influenced an entire generation of culture hmm. from a music standpoint and from an expression standpoint. There are, there are gang members who reform their lives through clown and crump dancing. Hmm. Full-on gang members, full-on killers, like active gang members who found dance as a form to express themselves and probably save their lives or the lives of others. Hmm. That's... That's not the same thing as well. He had a longer set time. Who I don't, I don't know how that even it matters in mm-hmm. my opinion. Just Are, want to break it down. Is there anyone who you really would have liked to see for one way or another who wasn't able to make it? I know the the one that a lot of people were talking about online was Baby Keem. He was there obviously, but was that like a strictly you know an L.A. thing? I know some people were saying he's from Carson. I like, was gonna. I wanted to. I was. If it was up to me, I would have included people from the Bay, San Diego. Yeah, Oregon, Washington. <laughs> I absorb, I absorb West Coast, Arizona, West West. I absorb Nevada. I want all of it. You know what I mean? But it just, bro, how do you do that? You can't yeah, get everybody. Can't yeah, everybody. there's no way to do that. Yeah. I mean, if it was up to me, obviously I would curate a lineup. Like, if it was up to me to curate an entire lineup, our shit would look like Rolling Loud. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we, yeah. it would just be, it'd be two days, <laughs> like WrestleMania, bro. It'd be just two days of just everybody performing. But it's that it wasn't. It's not up to me. So, head, how did you feel when like you did your, get your Tommy decline everything? You do your set, little break time mustard. What's going through your mind at that time? You delivered you your set. It's time for mustard and friends. How are you feeling at that time? Exhausted. <laughs> just but, but in a good way. In, in a good way, but energetically and, and, and spiritually and emotionally, just exhausted because you understand it. it and we always say this, me and my manager, Salas, we always say, like, we're not, in the ta- we're not in the talent business, we're in the relationship business. Having to manage people is yeah. a specific skill set. That's why everybody does. Everybody has a, has a horror story about working for a terrible boss. <laughs> everybody. Because managing human beings is a skill set. Yes. That's not necessarily my strong suit. And it takes energy, too. It takes an extensive amount of energy to manage people who otherwise would be able to impose their will on you um in and had it been a different situation but like i said <clears throat> it was respect and it was just like hey i'm charged with the task of this this is what you gotta I, see you gotta set the tone for the whole night i have responsibility I, I, i'm charged this is a lot of responsibility bro because yeah. like, if i fuck up if i miss if y'all miss a cue if and there's a live stream again shout out to the amazon we're going across stream. the world yeah yeah a lot live. of eyes there's no delay either. I think there was like a yeah. 15 second delay in the stream. We're yeah. live. We're live, bro. So Charlamagne, we're live. So it's just like <laughs> there is no it's no room for error. And I just think that I just thank God that 
But did you feel you did a good job in that moment, or you couldn't even fully process? Couldn't it? process it. I still haven't processed. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I haven't even gone through how I feel, and none of it. it's still fresh. I don't, I don't know. From the outside, I, you know, we we've said this off camera, but I was just so proud. I know. Yeah, I felt know, connected like, to I, I really, it. I actually felt connected to your yeah, moment. Like that's why I put it up. I said, my dog did your head. It's like, you know, we know each other through the years, and like again, maybe I traded my friendship with Drake to do a show with this guy, but. <laughs> um, Fuck it. It's worth it. <laughs> it, was, it was the right thing at the time. And, like, and, and earn the respect. Like, we didn't think that. we like You know, we thought he's going to be in the crowd. He's going to be in the building. But for Head to have that opportunity to set the tone that night speaks volumes, like he said, to his relationships. But also his importance to the West Coast and what he provides for it and how consistent he's been with his messaging and with his work that he's put in. You know, that's why effective immediately what he's doing. Gina Views is important. And, you know, I'm proud to be. No, I, I, my guy. I, I, That's I why I gave you a T-shirt. Now I need an effective immediately shirt. I need one. No, I got you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was occupied. I couldn't go get my own PG Lang merch. <laughs> I mean, he was working. I was working my ass off. But we didn't find out about that moment until later on in the show. Like Dot was already on stage when they hit everybody. It was like, hey, Dot wants everybody to come on stage. Oh, so that that wasn't. Planned. Oh, so you talking wow. about last? Solicit? That was not part of. I want to pull back, but we can fast forward. So the finale of everybody on stage, right? And they say, well. It's all gang culture and now the gangs are you not like it's, it's to me it's deeper than that. Can you explain what that last moment of the show meant? And you're saying it was kind of an organic thing where it was happened? super organic, but it was more like it was more like natural and oh, that's what we're doing? Okay, let's do it. Like and everybody was just on code. Like he was even pulling people up from the crowd, like, yo, yeah, you're, no, yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. Come on, you're good. I heard him say head, like get up here. Because I wasn't getting up there. I was just you know, I'm not that guy, yeah, though. Yeah, like yeah. I I was trying to, I was actually leaving. Really? Yeah, I was like, I was trying to sneak out. Because <laughs> you knew on the exit it was going to take hours to get out. To it take, everybody be, Man, I saw you up there. You was up there at the end, though. So You was looking the other way. I'm standing, I'm standing um, down in the pit, and I'm trying to help the girls get up. I'm like, yo, because everybody, it was just, it was so many people. Yeah. So I'm trying to help the girls get up, and there were kids, and then, you know, and um, everybody was trying to get up there, but it's like, they're still business that has to happen there's still fire marshal there's still yeah. regulations and yep. like he didn't give a fuck about none of that so it was like <laughs> russell westbrook wants to dance yeah russell westbrook <laughs> like, was dancing know, demar was the, like it DeMar, was yeah, DeMar. Le lebron yeah. like so it was just so many people so i'm like bro i'm just i'm chilling i'm gonna stay you right trying here. to lay low and i had my backpack and <laughs> my dude sasha i think was standing next to me and I was like, I'm like, all right, I'm gone. Like, I'm finna just make my way back. You to try the- to make the big exit? You try yeah. to do the well, great I like, escape? I, like, I don't, I do the Irish exit. Irish, yeah. Irish exit. Yeah, yeah, Irish exit. Better. I don't dab everybody. I'm DJ, just, head I, is about, DJ Head is about the Irish exit? 100%. I, I love a good Irish exit. <laughs> 100. I don't say bye to everybody. Fuck all that. Like, I'm gone. I, even at a concert, I'm like, we go to a concert together, my whole team know we on the freeway at, during the last song. He don't say bye? No, you're not there for the encore. <laughs> At all, they know. Like I, they, I told everybody, hey, they, my team know we out. <laughs> hey, this the last because I get the set list ahead of time. Yeah, you're all right. So when when he starts this record, if you're not here, you getting left. So d- at which point during the five How did back you to back, in? not like us, did you? So what made you want to <laughs> get back on that stage? So Silas was like, yo, he wants everybody on stage. I'm like, fuck, okay. Um, <laughs> Shout out, Silas. So I'm like, all right. So we all start making our way back. Me, Blast, Roddy. Like YG, like everybody's just mobbing over there. The whoops, like it was just a sea of people going back over there. I'm like, bro, this is gonna be stupid. Like yeah. it, it, the stage is big enough, but the way to get to the stage is not. There's a there's a there's a choke point. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, it's like a smaller entry was, point. Right? I was shocked that they had people still walking up there and no, but it's like he said. The, I went to the side. Like the stage is so wide, but the entry point is like so, a narrow. Yeah. It's narrow, and they built yeah. it like that because they wanted people to make the surprise entrances through the tunnel. So long story short, I'm just standing. there. I'm like, all right, I'm for this is a good time for me to make my exit. Why everybody like dancing? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I start walking out, and I see Aunt and Dave, and they look, they was look, they glancing, and I just, I, just, I saw them. I'm like, fuck, they saw me. You felt like they wanted you to make sure you got. In well, I, I'm just like that. They saw me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, you, I can't. No leave more now. Irish. So, so, so I just went back. I told the homie, I was like, bro, can you hold my bag, bro? I gotta, <laughs> I gotta hit he, that stage. And, and he was like, yeah, I hold your bag. I'm like, all right. So I'm just standing there, and I'm like, maybe they'll be like, all right, that's enough. And that's when I was like, head, come on. I'm like. Okay. Also, he's oh, like, so he, that signals you to get yeah, up there. He, he said, like, on the mic, too. He said, you heard it? Yeah, I have it on video. He said, head, 
come here. And and then he's acting all coy, but when Head gets on stage, he's out there taking people's cameras. He's <laughs> hyping the crowd up. He had everybody going. It was it was a moment. Like, well, if you, I mean, I also know what it's like to be on the other side of the barricade. And there are people who, I'm from LA, there are people who recognize, there are people who are listening to me on the radio or they fans or they, whatever they are, I, I call them supporters. Yeah, And they are. it's like, yo, I see you, I appreciate it. It's nothing I can do, but at least I can, they like, you know, at least I can do is give you, take your phone, yeah. go get a shot of Kendrick, like me, and then- If you guys have that video- Yeah, if you guys, oh, have, that if you guys wow. have that video, tweet it at wow. us, and we'll repost it in the next you, video. Man. Just trying to, you know, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm just a servant. Okay, to go back a little bit, so we talked about the Tyler thing. I want to talk about that moment because after Head set the tone and set the evening off crazy, did his job, it's time for Mustard and Friends, which was an amazing set also. To me, the two highlights was bringing out what? Tyler and Dom Kennedy. Dom Kennedy. So I want to talk about Tyler first because, again, I, th I think it speaks to like kind of what we talked about another episode before. It was like Tyler wasn't always embraced by, by the LA. scene, right? This wasn't, so for him to come out, I literally saw – Cause I got once I once I once I paid my G to get in the building, <laughs> I saw <laughs> Tim Henshaw, and he reluctantly gave me the little forum club pass. So I went up to the home of Jerry. He said reluctantly. <laughs> I'm staying on business. Uh, Jerry Buss, like the whole little forum club, the same. So I saw um, coming down the elevator was Taco and Lionel. You know, OF kids. I feel like they I feel like the uncle with them, like, cause I've known the OF kids from the beginning. And even though I saw Taco and Lionel, I didn't think Tyler's here. Or touching the stage. Yeah, yeah. So when Tyler came out, like that pop, and it's just like, what's your name? It's just like such a little slow bop. And, you know, they did Earthquake afterwards. It was crazy. But, like, just what is, hey, what does it mean for Tyler to come out during that set? And what did you I, make of the reception that the crowd gave him at that time? Insane. But Tyler is, I don't look at Tyler as, as, as being, and also you commenters, I use obtuse in the proper context. I don't look at Tyler as being <laughs> obtuse in this situation. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know I know my diction. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Tyler's not obtuse in the situation because Dot and, and PG Lang and, and, and TDE have never done anything by the book either. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I think not like us is the most by the book thing Dot has ever done. If wow. You, if you be honest, you know what I mean? If you think about it, like when it comes to West Coast. Our sound, our tempo, our, yeah, our, yeah, our yeah. the energy that LA bring like, you know, whatever. So I mean, do with that what you will, but Tyler being a part of this is not obtuse to me because he he and Dot actually actually have a real relationship. You know, I know he he fuck with mustard tough too, but Tyler's never done the traditional. Yeah, he's must, always gone against mustard. The box, yeah. yeah, he's always done his own thing too. Look I can have you look. Look how my guy looks. I think that's more Team. important. I think that's the bigger takeaway than anything is Tyler. That has doesn't do anything traditional, so it's yeah. not about him sticking out in the situation. It's more about him sticking out in a way that he's still Tyler in this environment, yeah. just like, the same way Dot. You know, what I mean, you got the other, you got a couple of art records. You know, him and Absol, and you got a couple of things that are the, 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 the what you expect from them. I think the bigger takeaway is Tyler being involved in in something like this that he probably otherwise wouldn't even be included in if it wasn't Kendrick. Yeah, because it's mustard set. It wasn't Kendrick set. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I want to get to not like us, but but before we actually get to the five time performances, Dre introducing it, I thought was interesting because <laughs> I went back and I thought, where have I heard Dre? I see dead people, and I went back to the game one blood intro where wow. that's what he says, and he said, Dre, I see dead people. So for Dre to be the person wow. in this, and that was a Dre diss too. That was a Dre, and yeah, he told me I'm gonna do an album without Dre's production at that time. So yes. to me, I thought that was so slick, and I, 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 know, that, I know that they're <laughs> calculated enough to know that that was, and the game man, these was West Coast guys are too was, cerebral for me, man. The game was noticeably missing, and also did seem to side a little bit with Drake. So I thought that that was a cool double entendre, whether intended or not. But for Dre to intro, I thought that was such a cool moment because no one expected him to be the person to set that off yeah no i mean i think i think it's just monumental like you said we're cerebral and a lot of times i said this on stage actually after ray Fon's performance but we don't get credit for being mcs on this side hmm. you know what i'm saying all these lists that come out never include us because they're not quote unquote traditional mcs and stuff and stuff like that now to, to to with that being said we're also not included in being tacticians in the way that we move we maneuver hmm. One of the reasons that Dot wins this is because he out-strategized, correct? Correct, yes. yeah. 
we're tacticians as well. We move in a cerebral, integral, but also intentional way in the same capacity anybody else can. So I think that we all, like I said, the, he wanted the world to see us like this, right? It's not, we're not just animals. These people are very smart. Some of the most low key people that you probably never see, Dave Free posts once every <laughs> six months. <laughs> yeah. Once every six months. And he'll give you a, a reel of like, you know, this is the last week. And it'd be random shit. It'd be a picture of the sky with. <laughs> that, that's why there was enough for even Drake to use it'd his be, comment because he never comments. It'd be like, like a picture of the sky with a fucking bird. And he'd be like, you know, life is beautiful. It's like, bro, Dave, what is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but, it was, but Dave, Dave, free. Dave is one of the most strategic, smart, greatest minds that people. Yeah. Yeah, we'll can we never take, get to can we take a moment to like talk about that? Like, why that show was so special, uh, the creative direction, all the details of what like Mike Carson. Shout out to him. Shout out to Mike Carson. Um, was the Cornell used to shout be a complex? Yeah. Like, like the fact that PG Lang, you know, obviously David. What, what was David uh, Kendrick as produ- as a uh, video director's call? Uh, was it was it not PG Lang? Like, no, remember David when David and Kendrick would do videos. What did they call themselves before PG Lang? I can't remember what it was, but. Anyhow, there's like these creative minds, right? Like, it is, to me, it's all rooted in the blog era, right? Like, if Rap Radio was in the blog era, it's like Mike Carson, Cornell, um, Dave's a genius, like, empowering these other creatives, like, all the details there, there's some of the credits, like Dave Free, Cornell Brown. It's like, I just want to shout them out because of the execution of the For whole sure. idea. It's like, it's not just Kendrick, it's like having other great creative minds behind them to make sure everything is precise. And you see the details, it's down to the details. And that was also part of why. Last night was so special. I yeah. think I think to be said too, like, you know, we were in constant contact with Cornell, with Mike, yep. um, going through everything and, and it was on them to it, execute the Cause there's so many acts, right? Like that's a hard it, I, I, to, I said it? this when we were in my trailer, I was like, bro, I, I would never want to be in charge of a production like this. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool with just showing up and DJing, bro. Like, I, or hosting, whatever. Be like doing logistics for something like this. Like, okay. Like, I I went just because I'm a nerd and I'm a fan of like, like how intricate things work. I'm going. I'm standing by the pyro guy and I'm watching him. He has a cue sheet, but then he has the live stream. But then he's looking at the stage and it's just yeah. like it's fucking mad. Yeah, you got to deliver in the moment and you got to deliver to the audience. He can't blow somebody up. You mean you you love me like. <laughs> And it looked like a couple times it looked like some of those fires. And so like, he's like, boom. And then and it's a white dude. And I'm surprised he had rhythm like that. But he was like, <laughs> boom. He was like, boom, boom, boom. And Don't then worry, the camera Jer- Jeremy, we're going to edit that uh, out. Don't also, worry, Jeremy. There's a hilarious uh, meme going around uh, of DJ Head trying to get me to say the N word. It is? Yeah, there, oh, there's a meme. There's a, there's a comment. Also, you got my, now my girl will be listening to music. She'll say, what, is, what did he say? I have my own people trying to get me, okay? Jeremy, but they know you will Jeremy never catch me saying never. that, okay? I'm never. bigger picture. <laughs> you probably said it before. So you say you've never said it in your life? Never in my life. You've never, have you said it, have you said no, it, have you, you said it this? in your head while you was rapping? I bleep it in yeah. my head. This is my you thing. You bleep it in your head. That's I, bullshit, No, no, no. Head. No, no. <laughs> no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. DJ, hey, can you read this? DJ, please read this. I love how Jeremy just laughs off head trying to set him up. It's obvious he's not worried about slipping. I just, I trust he doesn't even try it behind closed doors. This, this is the thing. I, I knew. Oh, you. So you. She's saying that you don't practice your N word. I don't practice the N word. No, <laughs> that is so a correct just, statement. You so you don't. don't shoot, if you don't practice your N word, it just fly off. It just no, no never flies off. Uh. Here's the thing. <laughs> never, never out loud. Here's the thing. Okay, we'll, we'll, this, this is just a quick sidebar, but. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Critics of yeah, Culture. Critics of Culture. Shout out to Critics of Culture. Critics of Culture is going. How DJ looks and tries to so, get everybody to say the L word. My thought was, I knew the space that I wanted to be in in life. I know that this is a culture that I'm a guest in that has accepted me and allowed me to be on this platform. I know that one slip up and me saying it at all, my career is over. Not only my, my uh, ability to be in this space with integrity is so over. When, so why, I don't when, even practice. So when YG hit that stage and did my... How do you enjoy hey, that we, song, we have, she, I, t- I told her to look. She was my, sitting next to me. No, uh, I didn't uh, even sing the hook. I didn't even <laughs> didn't even open my mouth during the hook. I just go. I didn't even say the my. I was just. <laughs> okay, let me ask you a question. Let yeah. me ask you a question. Yeah. And then we can get to the end of yeah. finale. Yeah. Do you know the words to YG? To that song? I know. I know like 50% of the words, yeah. Okay. 
So in you knowing the words, that means you have to have said the word in your brain. No, because I know. The, <laughs> yeah. Because I know the clean version. I got it. I said no, 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 no. You ain't got it. You ain't got it. He did not. I got it. He He's says it in now? his head. Are you streaming? Chat. I know. Chat. I'm making Listen. fun of you. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> you home I, not watching the show? Let me part of the show. Even when I read the lyric, I just bleep. I go to the next line. But okay. To to close. In up, order to bleep a word, you have to know the word is coming. I know. So you had to have said the word in your mind to bleep it. West Coast. Okay. All right. Well, okay. We'll, we'll end on the West Coast. Coast. We'll end on the West Coast. <laughs> but listen, to close off, Kendrick. So Kendrick said. B, B Dot put out this list, which we can talk Yay. about next time. He put Kendrick Yay, as the number B-Dot's one list. rapper alive right B-Dot now. B Dot came to California and saw the show but live in person. I want to know your guys' take. Where does Kendrick Lamar stand on all time greatest rappers list? And what number do you have? You know what? I'm right gonna do now. something off script. Pull up Bootleg Kev. Bootleg Kev on um. That's your homie. That's a Chico. Pull up Bootleg <laughs> Kev. His on his Instagram. Pull up Bootleg Kev's Instagram oh, and he posted Lord. the top ten like, a rappers list. That's the one we going. Jeremy, do you know Bootleg Kev and DJ used to have a show together? I do. Yes. Okay. That, that, that is that is. It's your bias. You, as the internet can say, you're biased. Go on Bootleg Kev's Instagram. He DJ wrote, had your bias. Wrote a right, list just like B dot and. We gonna go with that list. You agree with that list? You, That's what we gonna go. You with. You co-sign Boule Kev's list? One hundred percent. Is so, it a top ten? It's a top. It's a top ten of this year so far. So, okay. Boule. <laughs> Boule Kev's. Read tone. it out, Jeremy. This is his top ten rappers of twenty twenty four so far. And you not gonna do B Dot's list first? No. <laughs> That's rude, bro. Stop with Rap Radar podcast coming Wait, back. Stop soon. trying to punk Jeremy, bro. Next time we're going through his list fully. Stop we trying to punk. You him. trying to make him say the N word? No, Jeremy's my nigga. Look, <laughs> hey, easy. <laughs> All right, put it up. Read that, Jeremy. Go. <laughs> right. That's your list. Kendrick no, that's, Lamar. That's DJ Hez's list. Look at the bottom. We'll go from 10 to 1. Number 10, the greatest rapper A live. Number 9, Compton's Human Sacrifice. Number 8, Mr. <laughs> Morale, minus the Big Steppers. Number 7, The Good Kid in the Mad City. Number 6, The Certified Boogeyman. <laughs> Number 5, Oklama. Okay, Lama. Okay, Lama. Yeah, sorry. His his uh, it, his alter ego. Okay, all right. See, sometimes you can read things <laughs> wrong. So what if I've just I'm read just it saying, wrong? Sometimes what if gotta, I've read it wrong and I've never actually said it? Sometimes you okay. got to pop out and correct niggas. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> all right. He's not a nigga, though. People. Okay, fair, fair. <laughs> Sidebar. Right. Number four, Kendrick Duckworth. Number three, K-Dot. Two, Kung Fu Kenny. Number one. That shit list, DJ Head. Of course you love that it list. It says bootleg Kev on it. Next episode, we're doing the top 10, but DJ has said he's not going to submit his top 10. Because I'm not participating. He has some criteria. Why, why can't you do a top because, 10 MCs? Because I think that the way that people do their things is lame. We could do it right. Fuck them. Okay. Us. Yeah. It's about us. We make the y'all, they not like us. Y'all make y'all they list. They not like us. Y'all make y'all list and I critique it. And why can't we <laughs> they not like us? Why can't you make it like us? The top 10 list is mine. My list is going to be biased. It's going to be Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick. It's going to be West Coast. It's going to look, it's gonna look it's, it's similar, your set to, list. similar to Kev's <laughs> list. A lot of Kendrick. I, I will say, though, I think that having Kendrick anywhere outside a top 10 conversation, conversation all time, is outrageous at this point. Is he serious? All time. I'm talking about all time. What the fuck are we doing up here? Is it, what, having <laughs> Kendrick outside the top 10? Is crazy, and having him outside a top 5 is questionable at this point. Questionable? Top 5 all time. Yo, we was trying to get you out of We need to swap him out. What, what, we, no, no, no. Explain. Wait. Explain. So you're saying wait. you're saying it's absolutely certified that he's in the top five of all time. You say who? I, I don't I don't think there's there's people out there who disagree with that. What do you think? I said absolutely. He's, he's in, in the top, top five? five. Yes. Then what the fuck? Fuck them people. What are we talking about? Well, I'm just, I'm just I wanted your opinion on it. You know, my opinion, Jeremy. <laughs> Heck. OK, what, what, what about you? You have him top five all, all time? time. Here's why I struggle. And again, I'm going to throw this last lifeline to the boy, R.B. Dre Graham. Oh, my God. Here's where I struggle. <laughs> yeah, right, as look, he wears let, the Kenneth French You shirt. do this. You do this. And I'm going to recuse myself while you do this. Are you recusing? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. You want me to accent. renounce the East Coast? No, no, no. And now you're going to recuse. Go ahead. In my world. Copy your plea. I live, not in a world you where, back, I live in a world where Jay-Z is the GOAT. He's a Jordan. I always had Drake at number two. But this Kendrick guy, he, I, I, he solidified his lease at number three. And it's like. This is such a great cultural moment, such a win for me. We didn't even talk about his set yet. We got to do that before we get out of here. It's like Kendrick's set. It's like, to me, like, it's hard for any other rapper to act like you're not Hov, Drake, or Kendrick. If you think about overall history of hip-hop and what you've done, the big three is that. How do you want to spot? What do you want a Kendrick two or Drake third? Like, 
the big three has changed forever by this Drake Kendrick battle and the extra layers of it by this incredible show that Kendrick did at the Pop Out show. It's changed his pop history. Well, this you know? is what I'll say in regards to that, we'll, and we'll close. Our first episode here, Jeremy, what was Elliot wearing? An OVO Scorpion jacket. And what is he wearing right now, Jeremy? A Ken and Friends, the pop out shirt. Let me tell you something. This last night was the first you time. Tell me shit. Last last <laughs> night. <laughs> last <laughs> night was the first time. Like, like <laughs> shout out my man Frazier from GQ. <laughs> shout out to Frazier. I took so many photos with fans in the West. I, this is the most love I ever got in the West Coast. One night. I took so many photos. Everyone's excited to see Wyan in the building. Like that's the most hey, that's the most love I've ever felt from the West Coast in one night. There's no going back. It was beautiful. <laughs> you're you're a part of the West now. Hey. I'm not ready to hey. renounce yet. I'm West Coast Wilson, but I'm not ready to renounce the East. I'm, I just want to say, let there. me back into Canada. I do have to go there in July. I know that I'm. What are y'all copping, uh, please, for, bro? What the fuck? Is I want to get back into the country. My family's there. I I love Canada still, but we we got to wrap. No, I need no, one last thing. Look, <laughs> Kendrick set. Did you have break down with how you feel the, uh, the actual set? Did you Kendrick Lamar? Did you, Kendrick Lamar set? He sur He's a surgeon, and right. I think he set the tone with the first record. And wearing like, a pock inspired outfit what's going on with that and changing the words? lyrics too he, he told drake give the ring back and i'll show you some some that respect is extremely surgical and i've never seen anybody execute like him they say he did not drink any water what is this level of conditioning he has i've never seen anybody execute in real time like kendrick lamar duckworth i've never seen anybody as surgical and as, as tactical as kendrick lamar duckworth in the way that he approaches things so when it comes to those think pieces on youtube about Oh, like this means that, and this is that, and it ain't that deep. Like he's not doing that. But when it comes to the way he presents to the world, that's always intentional. Every time, in my opinion, Nettie rose to the moment. West Coast, West Coast. All right, we will be back. Comment what you want us to talk about next week, and shout out to the bigger picture audience. Yeah, 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 bigger picture.